Good day, YouTube. It is Sunday, March 18th, 2018, and I am going to attempt to lift this contraption and set it on that trailer. A, without hurting A, the contraption, B, the trailer. Seems how the trailer's just been completed an hour ago. So I have, uh, this lift, I believe, is in the, I'm going to call it 850 pounds, give or take 100 uh, range. So it's not light, but it's not heavy. But you can't roll it at all. It's designed to be on a perfectly flat, level floor. And there's literally a half an inch uh, front to back to, you know, for, to run on an unlevel floor. You could never run it up a ramp. I tried to run it out into the gravel, and you could see where it just dug in, and, and then you're done. <laughs> so this thing's really hard to roll around. Um, that's why it's going up on a trailer uh, in almost a permanent fashion once we get it up there. We'll fashion up some tie downs that will actually connect to the cross members that are fully welded. That's why I left them exposed on this trailer for tie down support for this big heavy lift that's going to go feet and feet in the air. So I've got it rigged. I've got four chains on it on four corners. It's designed with lifting points on it. So I say it's going to work, but if it doesn't, if it all goes to heck on me, at least I'll have video of the crash. So, and you'll all be witnesses, unless I die in the process and there'll be nobody here to post it. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. It'll go just like clockwork, just like they all go. Let me go over on this side in case the light is better. Maybe I can sneak in here. Okay. That's a good view as you're going to get. Let's see if it goes up. Up periscope. It's simple hydraulics. I think it's like we planned it. I think that's just like we planned it. I might come forward just a little bit and I'll get a tape measure out and center this thing uh, side to side. It's pretty close, but it might be like an inch off in the rear or something. had to sneeze so it looks pretty good we got our wheels and our supports directly over cross members right there that's a wheel right there only it's when it's jacked up though but 
to get a little pressure on it. So that worked out swimmingly. Okay, folks, I'm going to uh, pull the chains off, and uh, I should be able to uh, put a pry bar underneath it and kind of jack it around. Just want to square it up on the trailer, and then we'll figure out how to tie this monster down to stay. Very good. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, hanging out in the shop for a little bit, and uh, we'll continue. I'll uh, catch you on the next video.